Time to move on up. Well, we're moving on up. Moving on up. To the east side. Moving on up. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Moving on up. Moving on up. To the east side. Moving on up. We finally got a piece of the pie. Fish don't fry in the kitchen. A beef don't burn. We're here with an ArkansasTechSports.com exclusive with the new Wonder Boys head basketball coach, Chad Klein, 22nd head coach in program history and uh, really taking over the program at a strong point. Several consecutive championships, trips to the NCAA tournament. Now it's your turn to put your stamp on the program. Well, it is. We've had a lot of success here, and uh, you know I know it's big shoes to fill, but I wouldn't want it any other way. I know it's, it's about winning and winning the right way, and that's, that's what we plan on doing here. The last couple weeks since Coach Carlson left to today, uh, they've definitely been a whirlwind, but, but now you've got a chance to, like we said, make your own stamp on this. What sort of things are you looking to do with the program going forward to make, to make it have your feel? Well, you know, I don't think there's a whole lot of change that needs to be done, really. There's an old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of re key returners coming back, and, you know, I think Coach Carlson set a great example of how to run a program, just kind of try to do things the way he did it and maybe tweak a few things here and there, but that's how I see it so far. As you go forward and you look at the competition in the league, you know, it's, it's been, you've seen teams like Harding that have continually played well. Henderson State's been a team on the rise. UAM has really come into its own the last few years. Looking forward in the GAC, what sort of challenges are you seeing? Well, when I came into the GAC three years ago, there was always a couple teams you could count on just showing up and beating. And I don't think it's that way anymore, especially on the road. I, there's not one team I look at and think, okay, we're going to beat them. I think with there's new coaches, and I think everyone is so well prepared that you have to show up and play. And if you don't, you're going to get beat. And especially with that Arkansas Tech logo, we've been so successful that it's almost like people are gunning for you every night. You're making the move from being an assistant coach to a head coach. You've been a head coach before. How, what are the differences, I guess, in terms of preparation and the way you, t you approach the job? Well, I don't think there's a whole lot of bass. There's, there is differences, but the, the main difference is you, you got to worry more about other th things outside of basketball, the, the shaking hands, the politically correct stuff. Uh, you know, as an assistant, you can lock yourself in the office and just be a hermit, basically, and just worry about basketball. As a head coach, you know, like you, you are the face of the program, and you got to get out and, and do some things in the community, and I, you know, I really look forward to doing that. Just went through the press conference. You said your hellos, and you got to look out at a great crowd. You know, what were your thoughts on this crowd and, and the support that you got just here today? It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe in, in, on a summer day in the middle of the afternoon on such short notice that there was that good of a turnout, and it's... Like I said, just blessed, blessed to have this opportunity and so thankful for everyone that came out, especially the players. Uh, you know, I know they got a lot of things going on in the summer. I wouldn't want to waste one of my days, but, you know, they're the reason, like I said, they're the reason for all the success here and just couldn't be more happier. Coach, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing some great seasons. Thank you, sir.